faith Noah being warned of the how Bashem the how sorry of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. Ah. By the which he condemned the world and became bearer of the righteousness which is by faith. Okay. Hey, we doing the same thing Noah did. We just building the spiritual ark now. You know what I mean? We got that gopher wood right here with these scriptures, building it. What we know is saying, it's gonna rain, it's gonna rain one day, y'all stupid motherfuckers. It's gonna rain. And when it never rain, the same with America, America's gonna get nuked. Yeah, before it's Noah's get time, it never rained, did it? Fire. The water, it just do. The, the, the water came out the earth. And it also said, not only did it rain from the heavens, the scriptures also say the water even came, it came from the heaven and from the from, from the deep. Crazy. Yeah. Just picture that. That's bugged out. Wait a minute, this, this is a scene up in They showed it coming out. And there's some scientists that came out like a few years ago, and they said that uh, they proved that underneath the earth there's vast oceans underground. Yeah. And that it used to be more. They even quoted the story in the Bible. That look. That was like a like something you see on like a final boss on a video game or something. Like a something you seen in a, the character was a go through a and stuff. Yeah, that's Majin Buu's wife. <laughs> right. Which one is? Oh uh, well, I don't know about them ones. She look. I don't know what we call that. I agree. I agree. It's kind of different shapes, flavors, and colors. You know. I agree. That's a funny shit. Isaiah 3. <laughs> BT 1000. BT 1000. That's the funny shit. Nasty. By faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should have to receive for inheritance, obeyed. And he went out not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise, as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is the most high. For through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child. And she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised. When uh, Sarah when laughed. Yeah, Sarah means uh well Isaac means Isaac, laughter. Isaac. Yeah. Because <laughs> because you know his mother I laughed. Because Sarah laughed, she's like, what, I'm gonna receive pleasure in my old age? So what was she she heard the angel talking to uh my mind. Yeah, because the angels uh, then the Lord himself came and she sat was, she was eavesdropping? Yeah, the Lord himself came and sat down right. and ate with Abraham. Right. He's dropping laugh. Everybody. Why can't he listen to the last North to return to the hospital? I can see that. That's a new woman, too. <laughs> they crazy. Like, simple with her, you know. Because she was way past that age. You know what I mean? You know, because she said how... Uh, she said that how am I going to receive pleasure in my old age? She's probably beautiful. Yeah, you know, she was beautiful. The Pharaoh wanted to take her for himself. That's right. That's right. And it describes us tell you that she was one of the most beautiful women. You know what I mean? But I mean, you got motherfucker like IUIC, bro. They got something called a daughter, or this daughters of Sarah. You seen that? <laughs> they try to put themselves up on that level with Sarah, bro. Ooh, that's amazing. The Lord gonna destroy y'all just for that. Oh, that's the wizard. You heard that movie? Uh, they can't reach it. It accumulates. It accumulates, and it looks, and it looks like a, it looks like a ranch, but it's actually built up of dirt. Because I've had patients who have had we have to wash them. OB says black woman. Bring that phone up there with a picture on it. Oh man, don't remember that? That's what that was. That was the ashiest mother of this pussy I've ever seen in my life. And somebody had on their photo, on their camera, hold on 
your phone. You know how you can keep pictures. They ain't delete that shit, man. <laughs> they had several pictures of this book. It was some other ones that they I should have kept it, but I deleted it because I was so disgusted by it. Right. But what I was saying, though, the accumulation of dirt actually looks like a rash. It's not a rash, it's just accumulating the dirt. And dead skin and shit, you know? I had a little patient, man, the dude, he was so fucking filthy. In fact, his, his dick part of the skin, his fat rubbers, his rod, man, rotted away. Plus, he got me, his dick part of the way. Men be they just men just they smell like this. They smell like fish. Um, all these um organization sides. You know, so I got a delivery car. Huh? Oh, so like, oh, well, that's a dumb motherfucker that made up this car to make those. The nigga do something stupid. They already do it. Tie the soap. Paint their car or tie the soap. <laughs> nigga, I think it's dumb. I think that bus driver sent me yelling at us. Black ass smokers. Who, Willow? Yeah. You remember that movie Willow? I don't even watch some YouTube videos. What? <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up, homie? You know your nationality according to the Bible? <laughs> you believe in a Bible? You a Bible believer? For real? What's your favorite scripture? You got a favorite scripture? You want to share with the congregation? John 3.16. John 3.16. What's so funny, bro? Just happy. Uh, he just happy. You see the big booties on Facebook. Uh, that's what you. <laughs> Facebook crazy, man. Facebook done going to a whole different level, man. Especially after they added that live feed stuff, man. Oh, the live. Yeah, they went to a whole different level. Man. Hey, you can't tolerate watching nobody, reading nobody's post on it. It's all a bunch of retards. Yeah, it makes me sick every time I get on there. Oh, it really is. It's only good for re reading like new. I, you know, you follow the little articles of different history things and stuff. That's why I use it for. And free phone service. Because <laughs> that that that, uh, that so messenger loud, they can crack down on that, that messenger is nice though, man. Yeah, that's real. I mean, that works really. That works better than the phone. Yeah, I hate talking on the phone. I, I ain't bought phone service in years. What's up, bro? Good question. I just like to ask. Well, you know, you know that America's about to be destroyed, right? You, you know the Lord. You know, you know the God of the Bible. He prophesied that, that uh, America's going to be destroyed by a thermonuclear fire. You know that? You didn't know that? Yeah, it's a scripture. Judgment soon come. It's a scripture. Judgment is soon to come. And only them to have the faith, the faith that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is going to be delivered. That's it. So if you ain't got no faith, you, you ain't going to be you ain't going to be delivered. Me. I've been here by talking about this. Why do you think they built them? Why do you think they built them? They didn't build them just to have them on display. You know, kids go to school and they go on a field trip to a new site. Because Jesus loves you. <laughs> Here you go, Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom. America is a sinful kingdom. This is the land where homosexuals can get married. You know what I'm saying? They, they break all the laws of the Bible. There's no Sabbath. Adultery is encouraged. Child molestation. Because you know, according to the Bible, if somebody commits adultery, they're supposed to get put to death. But in America, if a woman commits adultery, she gets rewarded with child support, food stamps, Section 8, free housing. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's totally against the laws of the... That's why this is called the, uh, the sinful kingdom. 
I read that again. Behold, the eyes of the Lord power are upon the central kingdom, and I will destroy it off the face of the earth. So the Lord is very displeased with a place called the United States of America. He's going to wipe it from off the face of the earth. United Sodom of America. Because the Lord ain't no liar. And the Lord ain't no joke. Okay, the joke is on you. Why would the Bible but the Lord gonna bring that fire, he's gonna bring that destruction. The Lord don't lie. The Lord doesn't lie. Because how do, how do you uh, purify and clean up filth? Well, fire, that's the only way. The only way to uh, to get rid of all them filth and diseases is you gotta burn it. And that's what the Lord is gonna burn America. Right. Revelation 18 and 1. And after these things I saw another, another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily like, with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen. And it said them angels too coming out the heavens with that mighty voice and coming out them chariots. I, what they call a so-called UFO, a chariot, that's what you call a chariot of Israel. And people, they don't, that's why they, uh, they used to sing them slave songs, Swing Low Sweet Chariot. The little white lady looked at me like I was crazy when I said that. Hey, but you're going to look at them chariots like they crazy when you get them disintegrated. You know what that is, angels? Yeah. How y'all doing? Yeah, that's gonna happen right here. Those missiles. This that's, that's is the future of America is missiles. America's gonna be clean dissolved. Missiles. That's gonna happen. Yeah, but what about over here? Well, I mean, it's all going, it's all, everything's going to get put in its place. And the missiles is coming from the USSR. Boom. Millions of missiles. Watch it, everybody. Ain't no stopping. The, the missiles are on their way. You don't care, You don't care, do What you going to do to prepare yourself? You know your favorite pony is on um, them. <laughs> you know, my, little, my little pony. <laughs> my little pony. Oh, man. Oh, shit. That's funny watching people deny that they watch porn. Oh, shit. Check your history. <laughs> Check your Let's history. go through your history. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, let's we'll see your browsing history. Like, uh, <laughs> you don't want to see that. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, oh, for, uh, this oh, type of pee. You know what? Honestly, man, is an abomination. It really is. That's an abomination. Man. Man. Right. You need to be doing. You need to figure out who these people are right here on this chart. You need to be giving up your finances, your time, and telling these people who they are. Stop lying to everybody through your people. You understand what I'm saying? Your people is a big liar. You understand what I'm saying? They, they deceive the whole world. Lies. That's what the word devil means. It means to see. Deceiver. You find out who these people are in this chart, and you and you, and you give back the operations the best, you, the best you can. And hope the most I got mercy on your He broke his head. No matter. You got a dollar to get to one. What you do for COVID? You, you ain't driving. That's bad. There's a bus pass? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. They give you cars like that now? They probably wax for how much it costs? Three hundred dollars. It's gonna be on your RFID chip soon too. You know, you're gonna get your RFID chip. You can't it, so you ain't got to deal. But somebody can smack you and take that away. You know, they're gonna they're gonna report all that crap, crap out. Man, they can people can write here. Yeah, check this out. 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 They can put microchips in people's hands and their brain. It's a physical implant. It's a physical implant that's going to be implanted. It's already in motion right now. All, millions of Americans have it. Millions of Americans got it right now. Right. Hey man, you got your know, RFID chip, man? You can get one though. Yo, pink shirt. Right. Yeah. Grown ass man wearing a pink shirt. The RFID chip is popular in Columbus, Ohio, man. People that go to uh, Grant Medical Center. Oh, it's you hospital having surgeries. Columbus is big with those implants, right? What is this? Yeah. 
That's the devil right there. That's my girl. She out here every week. They, people are getting, they are getting, they get trans, transplants, you know, a kidney from somebody, a heart from somebody, a limb from somebody, those limbs, whatever they get implanted, it's become part of our chips. Yeah, we got a description, bring it out. Oh, right, yeah, it's car. That's worse than mine. That's the only police car. I can't make fun of nobody's car. Go ahead. Revelation 13 and 15. Oh, 16. And he causeth all, both small and great. Both, oh, hold on, let me read this slow. Read it again. And he causeth all, both small and great. Both small and great. So even the richest people, talking about all the way to the Rothschilds, the president, the senators. All the way down to the lowest person like us, the poor people. They all gonna have to get this mark. Go okay, ahead. When we first heard about the chip, who first got it? Oh yeah, it was the, the elite. Right, right, the rich people. Right. Yeah. Because right. it, it, to them it's convenient too. Yeah. That way can't nobody uh, yeah. break into their house. Because you can only get in the house with that microchip, with yeah, that. The key. Yeah. Just, you don't need a just, key. Just, just it, makes, it makes their home more secure. That's why a lot of people they gonna accept the microchip because it's gonna it's gonna make your life easier. You you don't have to worry about losing car keys. Now you'll never lose your car keys to start your car. You just got a microchip in your hand. The car starts right up. Yeah, credit. You'll never lose it. You can't get robbed for it. You like that, don't you? I like to hold my physical world. I like to be able to hold my world. Man. I don't want Especially like my wealth, like you get a bunch of women. Like what y'all want? I guess like that. That's a fool that want their wealth to be on the computer that somebody had to type in. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. Yeah, cause yeah, you're right. Real wealth is substance. Real wealth is land, money, servants, cattle, women, gold, oil. Women. Yeah, women. 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 Or heathen women, of course. You, you're not allowed to sell uh, Israelite women. That's right. But you're allowed to you're allowed to uh, you're allowed to sell women from other nations. Yeah, that's lawful according to the Bible. So like it, soon when the, when the society breaks down, the economy is gonna collapse, and you're gonna see uh, women gonna get caught out there, and women gonna get be getting traded as dry. They gonna be like good. They gonna make a Superman sad, but they they spoil the war. They gonna spoil the war. They spoil the war. Right? You watch them old movies. I'm going to take everything in there, you know what I'm saying? But don't get this Indians. You know what I'm saying? Psalms 2, right? Yep, right. Women's always the spoils of war. I am a Native American. Here you go. Oh, yeah? <laughs> so you Native American for real? Who is, who's Native? Your mom or your dad? Your mom, what's your dad? My dad is that's dad. Italy, you what your father is. Whatever your father is, that's what you are. A lot of them, lot of them, uh, lot of them Northern tribe went back there though. Yeah. You're going to see your father. A lot of them went back there though. Like a mixed person. He could be. He could well, be. Never know. You he could be. You are. He, he is a Jake though. Because you know Israel. Tell you, Jake, Israel's under curse, so I don't know. Right. He's a Jake. He a Jake man. Done I mean, did some wicked shit back in your past life. <laughs> some that's wicked so, shit. Like you said, those my ponies. My you know? side of the family. My little poke. I'm usually on that side because my dad, he don't have no hair on his head. Right, right. I do. Well, yours falling out, though. <laughs> it's coming out, though. I can see this. The hair thinning out, ain't it? It's thinning out. I, I, I prefer the chrome dome. I'd be mad if my hair grew back. Here you go. I mean, Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me. And I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Yeah, so the heathen, all these other heathen nations that are not of the nation of Israel, they're going to be our possession. We will own them. We will own them. We will own their women. We will own their children. And that's why the scripture said that Israel will rule all nations with a rod of iron. You can find that in Revelation, the second chapter. And we, we're going to rule all these nations with a rod of iron. That means we ain't playing no games. There's going to be order. Okay. Well, there's gonna be a lot of bloodshed. Right. <laughs> for real. They Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thy inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. And we in the uttermost parts of the earth right now, and the Lord's gonna deliver us out of this country. And we, when the Lord establishes that kingdom of heaven, He's setting up the children of Israel to rule over all nations with a rod of iron. Go back to that and they all gonna be our possession.
And there's nothing nobody can do to change See, that either. This is a example of that living water, man, because we just started the beginning of the verse and we still, we ain't even get into it yet. That's all right. You know what I'm saying? That's we ain't got into it yet, man. You got, you got to take your time with it. <laughs> right. That's like with a woman, you know what I mean? You don't want to be all rust with the woman. You take your time well, with some it. Some of them like it. Well, yeah, somehow you rough. You, like it but you just got to follow the spirit. You know, roll sometimes dog. you got to hear, you know. Do it about that woman you love. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Revelation 13, 16, and he calls it all both small and great. Both small and great. Go ahead. Rich and poor. Go ahead. Free and bond to receive a mark in the right hand or in their forehead. A right in the right hand and forehead. And that mark is talking about that microchip. That's why Google came out. Google already has brain microchips. Because soon when, when they get these chips and they, this advanced technology, you'll be able to get on the internet with your brain, with, with the microchip in your brain, okay? And they've already got, they've already implanted uh, mice with microchips in their brains. They communicated over the internet with the microchip. Okay? So this technology's out there and they perfected this technology. That's why soon you won't be able to buy anything for the grocery store without the microchip. You're not going to get on a Coda bus without the microchip. EBT is going to be on a microchip. So that's why a lot of women, they're going to be the main ones to take that chip. Hey, they they got to they feed their babies, so they're going to take the chip. You got a lot of soldiers that come back main. Yep. And they got uh, what you call them? The arms, VA, legs, yeah. What you call them? Uh, uh, amputees or whatever. What yeah. You call them, man. They can that, control those hands. Oh yeah, chip. they got bionic parts now. Right. They with the, they exactly. got brain microchips. Right. That allows right. them to have uh, like RoboCop arms or right. you know a cyborg cybernetic body parts. Yeah. And they already perfected all this technology. It's been perfected. Yeah, they are. They are. They, they already making superhumans. This, this what's coming. They got experimental programs in the military where soldiers have cybernetic body parts. You know what I'm saying? Uh, cybernetic hearts that can pump blood faster. You know what I'm saying? Super Microchips soldiers. in their brain. Super yeah, super soldiers. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They got infrared vision built into their uh, eyeballs through the microchip. This, we keep saying this is coming. It's already here. It's already here. It's already here. <laughs> he said he took the land from his ancestors. Hey, they did. They stole this land. Yeah, and they, 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 right, this right here, if you read the history of uh, Columbus and Ohio, this all right here used to be all forest. This was like the hunting grounds, the side of the river was, was beautiful, it was clean. You know what I mean? Anybody, any place that got a river, a massive river going through, it's, it's going to be fertile. In this area right here, that's where you got Mound Street. That There was a lot of uh, burial mounds all through this area right here. This was actually a sacred area right here. That's where they buried their dead and their loved ones. And they came through here and just defiled all this, built all this, all these abominations. Yeah, yep. So the, 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 them devils grow. They they grow over six hundred trees, man. Over six hundred trees, man. That's a lot of treaties, man. Every treaty this devil made with the Native American Indians, they grow. Every one. All them treaties were used to say to get in there. <laughs> you know, get in the plant. I mean, I, get, I got a scripture for that. The devil's coming. Like so. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That's the spirit. And hey, that's the spirit right here. What's that? You might get 55? 55. Psalm 55 and 20. It says, He that, that's like, he hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him, he hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Yeah, that's talking about the so called white man. And we gotta say it like that. Oh, yo, I got a white man talking about the white man. Look. That's why the North American Indians called uh, the so-called white man a fork tongue serpent. They call him a fork because you can't believe nothing he says. Every, everything that comes out, read that scripture again. It says, Psalms 55 and 20. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Treats. Just like, right, all, all these politicians, their words are smoother, smoother than butter. When they're running for office, they're going to tell you all them sweet, smooth words that you want to hear so you they get your dumb ass to follow them. You know what I mean? Because the American people are stupid. You know, they got a lick of sense in them. They'll, they'll follow any devil, any serpent, and snake, and liar. Every time, every four years, they follow a new devil. They put they, 
Bernie Sanders is the savior. Them, you know what I'm saying? Donald Trump is the savior. They all a bunch of devils. Okay? They all going into slavery. According to the Bible. They going into slavery. They going to be our slaves. That's that inheritance. That's that inheritance. Can't wait. This is the patience and the faith of the saints. What we're doing is the difference in The words of his mouth are smoother than the butter, but war was in his heart. Ooh. His words were softer than oil. Why is he talking about going after North Korea? North Korea ain't bombing nobody. They, uh, North Korea ain't been to war in 60 years. Damn. 60 what? years. And the last time there was a war was with America. <laughs> but, but they're the aggressors. How many wars have America been in in the past 60 years? Oh, can't count them. You can't, that's all, you can't count them all. Yeah, the box. Let's try. They occupied in somebody else's space. Yep. He said they've been in war for 93% of the time America been in next year. Damn! So 97, I think it's 93. That's ridiculous, man. They've only been here for how That's a bloodthirsty nation, And man. you wonder why they North... They've been to take over this Yep. That's good as one world war. And that's why North Korea wanted them nukes, because they... They know they're next. Themselves. Gotta protect themselves. They gotta protect themselves. Right. That's a devil always accusing you of what he's guilty of. Yep. You finish up? This is Daniel 8 and 25. And through his policies also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. And be and by peace shall destroy many. And by peace, that's why they always say, oh. We bring in peace to the world, peace, democracy. You know what I'm saying? They go, here it is, they, an invading army talking about they the bringers of peace. <laughs> they talking about Syria, the white hat, the white hats. Yeah. Motherfuckers coming in with white hats when the folks on the city. That's because they, they, even the devil himself appears as an angel of light. He gives you all the smooth words, tells you everything you want to hear, and stabs you right in your back. <coughs> Hell, the UN go in invade places. The UN, the United Nations, raping women and children. Well, the UN set up by Esau, too. Right, that's their shit. That's their shit. Because at the end of the day, they